Is this pandas? No, it's popcorns. We need to change pandas bit actually. I'll do it on the car right there. Welcome back to the channel and today you'll see we're taking three of the ponies out. We're taking Popcorn, Panda and Rolo. Today it's a bit of a health day for the boys. They've got the water treadmill booked and they've got a bit of water therapy for their joints. Um, it's Popcorn's been before but I think it's Rolo's and Panda's first ever time. So that's going to be fun for them. And then after that we're going on the gallops. So double whammy, double fun. And then they're going to the state of the art dentist. It's like one of the best in Europe. It's just Panda having his teeth done. And all the other boys have had theirs done already. But we haven't had Panda done since we got him. And we always like to just have a little look around in their jaw. I think they put a camera in there and everything. Mm. It's like a really high... High tech, high tech jinx. appointment, yeah. Yeah. We're hoping to film the dentist appointment, so if we can, we'll show you what happens when he gets his teeth done. Do you, th do you think he's going to need to get sedated? Yeah, I think they do. Do you? Yeah, I think so. Even if they're like really chill? I don't know, I think so. But it's really good because whilst we're there, Popcorn and Rollo are going to stay in the trailer and they'll keep each other company because... Popcorn let's... won't stand there on his own, I don't reckon. No, and, and neither would Rollo. Well, they have done, they, but they prefer not to stand on their own. They, they prefer to be together, um, but Popcorn, I don't think he would. We're hoping to get the drone up as well today, so we're going to get some amazing footage for you guys. But yeah, join us and the boys on their healthcare day, and yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Are we putting bridle on? It's up to you. Oh, is every 
anything a bit strange? Oh, you got bored. Excuse the poo stains, guys. We had time to get them off, didn't we? No. They did that thing last time, they just keep mm. walking them through it to get used to it. When do they go straight on? Angelic in the slightest. It's not that bad after all. Oh, straight in. Oh, yeah. Why is the floor moving? I think Popcorn like forgot to walk at one point last time <laughs> and just like stopped and he was like drifting back. Water's going in. Good boy. in the water, isn't it? Yeah. It's, we haven't taken them to the beach or anything, though. <laughs> he was really good, but I'm not. I'm not the expert, but I thought he was good. Yeah. And he kept leaning to one side as well. Yeah. But you're a very good boy, very clever boy. It was a bit scary going in it for the first time, wasn't it? Right, we Yeah. Right. Hang on a second, how do we get him back in? Oh, I know. Maybe we should do Rolo next and put him in... Rolo's, Rolo okay. Spot. Yeah. yeah, should we do that? Yeah. I'll put his back travel boots on because I don't want to get him pooed down his back legs. No, I, I would worry, babe. I've seen a lot of poo here, but... Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yum. Hi, Rayleigh. He can be quite stubborn, but I reckon he might go on. What, what do you think it's going to be like, Harlow? I reckon he'll do the same as Panda, but a tiny bit worse. <laughs> Oh, 
He is going to yeah. jump. Oh, good boy. Right, you can have the treat. You like no. <laughs> <laughs> just do his Aye, aye, <laughs> He's just staring at it. Water's coming in. Where's the water all gone? Food. <laughs> you can have one. Enough. Do you let him off? <laughs> Ready? Good boy. He's like, no more walking, please. All right. Out you come. Okay. Oh, like a pro. in the water. Yeah. we go. So they're all done now. Now we're going to head off to the gallop track. So I'm, go I'm riding Panda first. Just checking my stirrups. This is an R saddle. We're borrowing it from Albion whilst our custom ones arrive. But this is the control saddle, I think. And yeah, it fits him really nicely. All right, do you want to Give me a little boost, man. <sighs> Panda's the most driest, so I'm riding him first. Um, I think my stirrups actually need to go down. When Popcorn was on the treadmill, Brolo already got his heckler off, so we have to pull that back on. Right, that's on 11. 
On the gallops, I think Panda's going to be quite chill. Um, Popcorn's going to be spicy. I don't know if we're going to get any Bronx, but I reckon we're going to go fast. And then I think Rolo's just going to like want to canter around, really. I think he's going to canter around calm. That's my predictions anyways, but we'll see what happens.
dentist now and I cannot count how many times me and mum have reloaded all the ponies today. It's like musical chairs, but musical partitions. Um, we've literally, one's been in, one's been out, one's been in, one's been out. Like they've been in everyone's space today. It's been quite a lot today. For, it's just been me and my mum. So we have, we've had to get three ponies on the treadmill, three ponies ready to travel today. Um, and the three ponies all tacked up, ready to go on the gallop tracks. Untack all three, load all three. Oh, it's been, it's been pretty crazy. It's been really, really busy today. They've all loved it so much. I don't know who's loved it the most, to be honest. I mean, Pokemon loved going fast. I think Rolo was actually quite fast. Yeah, that was a good gallop he had. Mm. And Panda was really good. I've never seen Panda so jazzed up. Was he jogging? He was jogging a little bit actually. I'd say Popcorn was most keen. Popcorn was most keen to get on there. Who was my, who's calmest? Panda. Panda was like the calmest. Rolo was just good. Get, Rolo was getting a bit impatient. He wanted to get going. When he seen the others two were going out. Mm, and had, when we were attacking him up, he kept on like marching away. He was, um, he had a bit of FOMO, uh, Rolo did. Mm, he gets on the whinnying, didn't he? Yeah. But yeah, we're on the way to the dentist now. We've actually um, got a manicure booked in as two. <laughs> Unplanned manicure for the ponies. Rolo felt a little bit left out today um, that he wasn't going to get the dentist, so he decided that he'd um, get the farrier. Now we've got to make a little unplanned um, stop to the farrier who's going to put his shoe back on after the dentist. Um, Farrah's gonna put his acrylics back on with your hands. So guys, we've arrived at the horsey dentist. Um, we it's went incredible. To the, oh my God, it's like actually amazing. It's so nice here. It's very fancy. It's very fancy. I'm trying to work out whether it's like eventing, show jumping or dressage, but it looks no, just... No, they're, they're, they're just for the, for the patients, them stables. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. What? For the for just for the horses, like the day the day comers. The day comers, all the overnighters, yeah. They're like full on monarch stables. They look like brand new and everything. You're gonna have a very nice dentist experience, and you're with the the professional guy as well today, which is cost my mum double. <laughs> what is extra? It's more extra expensive. You expensive boy. But yeah, it is so fancy guys. Like this is amazing. We just we went to the toilet and there the toilets were like five star as well. But did you did your toilet have like a shit full on shower in it? Um it was amazing. Mine had like a full on shower and everything. I think you can stay here overnight with your horses. Yeah, it's amazing. Now, Rolo in the journey was twisting round and round, like he can twist his bum so he can go this way and he can go this way. So, yeah, when he's in this partition, it's extra and big. How did you undo, undo that, babes? Uh, yeah, he's extra, this partition's extra big and he is extra small. <laughs> Smallest cargo. Yeah, so he's a pack. Right. Oh, yes, we've got to get Rolo out to get Panda in. Oh, oh god. Yeah, so here is his no shoe. Definitely in here. Yeah, it's definitely in here, yeah. You could have just kept that on. Oh, well, it's alright. Oh, I love that. Panda, do you want to be miniature for a second? Isn't that cool? Yeah. I feel like the others are going to want to come here. Yeah. Aren't they? Definitely. I mean, he can still see over with this then, but... Yeah, these are the amazing stables. Oh, you're digging up your bed already.
<laughs> He's not even rolling. Just He's digging. Yeah. Hi, babe. Can I have a kiss? No. He doesn't know what to do with himself. No, he doesn't, does he? No. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling quite embarrassed right now. I'm waiting for this. The pony's itching his butt against the wall. <laughs> dig into because you've made a hole. Right, the others are coming now. The popcorn's just got straight down and rolled. Oh, not again. Oh, Rolo's having a wee. <laughs> We're getting it all out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, hi, Papa. These are really good heights for stable doors, aren't they? Yeah, they are good. So they just had a little invite in, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, he's, having, he's rolling. They yeah, had a bit of a wait. So, um, oh my god, that mane! Oh, what was that? What was that? Is he getting stuck, really? He's like one of those trick ponies, you know, when they sit on their bum. <laughs> you did that the other day, but you just sat there for like 30 seconds. You're crazy. Oh my god, Rolo. Oh, my dad again. Oh no. Oh, the two lunatics here. <laughs> Craziest patients they've had all week. And all oh, yeah. patients, they're gate crashers. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, popcorn's turned for a wee. Hi, baby. Right, it's time, Panda. There we go. So what we're going to do, that's it, a few pop pandas head collar on. Uh, we're going to give, give a little bit of sedation here in this table. And then just before we're too sleepy, we're going to walk through into the clinic. Okay? Cool. And you can come through and watch everything. Yeah. And we'll get some images on, this, on the big screen for you. Lovely. Right, let me come and say hello. Hello, panda. How old is panda? Seven. Seven. Connemara? Yep. Yeah, right. You're going to hold on to her? Oh, him. Oh, it's him, sorry, yes. He's, him. He's pretty though, isn't he? He's lovely, yeah. Uh, uh, no, you're not running just away. Just close that door, yeah. just in yeah. case he thinks he... He, he might be a bit sweaty because we went to the gallops today. So, oh, I might tie him out a little bit. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> How did he get on? He was a very good boy, he loved it. Yeah. Right, good boy, I'm just listening to his heart. Check he's all fit and well. That panda. How long does the sedation stay in their system if they were to get drug tested? Uh, so for um, for these drugs, we need to give um, kind of five days, really, because it's days. A, there's a combination, and it's one of them, and it's a bit longer. Normally, it's forty-eight hours. Panda. Is that is that going to be? A no, it's not a problem. No, it's fine. Yeah, but it's just good to know because. She, you've had a couple of dope testings with the Dartmoor that's next door. Yeah, yes. it's just... Yeah. yeah. Right, that's done. Did you see that? Yep. Very quick. And so what's going to happen now, he's going to start to look a little bit sleepy in about 20 seconds time. So we oh. just watch him. That's oh, very quick. And then as soon as he starts to look a bit sleepy, so that he can walk in fine, we're going to then open the door and he's going to go into the clinic. But we like to do this because then when he comes in, he's just starting to go sleepy and it'll all be a nice calm so we'll be anxious walking in, yeah, yeah. Exactly. 
be a just, sometimes when they're going into a strange space that smells a bit dental clinic-y, you know, or vet, vet practice-y, they can get a little bit stressed. Right, can you see his head's coming down oh my a bit? Gosh, that's his eyes so are being drooping, so it's time to go. It's time to so go quick. Open the door. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> that's it. You're right to take him. So, Come on, Panda. That's it. Human dental clinic. We've got all our dental kit here. You probably recognise the sort of dental lights and yeah. some of these units we use for drilling and filling. So the last horse we had, the reason we were running a little bit late is he came in for a routine, but he had really big holes in his teeth, so we had to do some fillings on him. Oh, no. Fillings. So that took a little bit longer than we expected. Fillings. So we it's like actually like being at the actual dentist. Yeah, this is this, this is the closest thing we can get to being to sort of a human. Amazing. Dental clinic. So we're going to stick that television on as well, please, for now. I'm going to stick on my scrub top and get it ready. So don't worry if you look a bit wobbly. They all sedated, yeah? Yeah, we, we sedate absolutely everything that we do. Um, and we've done that for many, many years. It's just really because if we're, we're often looking at horses that have got problems in their mouths, you know, they've got painful areas. And if we're going to examine them really well, it, it can yeah. sometimes just be a little bit sore for them. So. We just want to make everything a nice, calm experience. You see them? But sometimes when you're like putting his bridle on, it takes you about 30 seconds to get the bit into his mouth. They seem oh, quite sharp. Okay. Yeah. And the heat, they seem yeah. really sharp. Yeah, and he's okay. very chompy. Like when, yeah, you're yeah, when you're riding him, he chomps his mouth a lot. And sometimes he twists his jaw. Because he's a new pony, we only got him in May, I think. I didn't ask when his last when it his when teeth last I didn't ask, was, but yeah. I just think when you get a new pony, it's just oh, nice to yeah, do it. Percent. So that all feels good. You always like to feel the bars where the bit goes. Sometimes you get some painful lumps there and things, and you just feel some soreness before we even put the gag on. But that all looks good. Okay, so now we're going to pop the speculum on, and we've got a light attached to the speculum here which is going to shine into his mouth and then I'm going to let you see that on the television screen over there by using my phone as a camera. So we just put that in there, get that roughly tight enough and then just very gently we can just open his mouth. And there he is. And then I'm going to give his mouth a rinse because he's probably got some food in there. Oh. <laughs> you got my wash. Like rinse and spit, yeah, exactly. So it's just warm water. And there we are. And then his horse's heads are fairly heavy. We're going to ask him just to rest his head. Up on this little soft padded headstand. So he can rest on there. Now we get this light. There we go. Oh, bless him. And this is our inspection lamp. That clips onto there. And then we're ready to go. Now we're going to have to do something. So he's nice and relaxed. And this, I think, is a really important thing to note. Some people get worried about the mouth being kept open for a little while, but he's really relaxed with the sedation. He's not chewing on it, so there's not really any stress and strain on all his muscles and on the joints. So he's very relaxed, and it means that we can have a really good look inside and see what's going on. So I'm going to have a quick look, but while I'm doing this, I'm also going to mirror my screen onto that 
TV over there. <laughs> so if you look this way, there we go. <laughs> so now we can get this to look in this map. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. So here we go. Now Helena, can you come and hold the other side of it, please? Inside Panda's mouth. I've never seen the side of a horse's mouth with you, Harlow. So you That's been really weird. So the left side of his mouth is obviously our, um, on the yeah. right of the image and vice versa. And we've washed all the food out of his mouth, but he's got a lot of sort of normal features, all the ridging on the palate. You can see at the top there, going back to the soft palate at, right at the back there. And then the teeth themselves have got all these funny different colours on. We're going to be looking at those in really high detail in a minute with the intro on camera. This is just to give us an idea of what's going on. This tooth here looks very slightly, a little bit overgrown, too long. He's got some ridging right at the back. Can you see how there's very marked ridges at the back there? Yeah. They're a little bit more prominent than they should be, so we'll probably do something with that with the rasping. There's something like a little bit of food still at the back there. <laughs> Probably where we just haven't washed it out, but we'll check that that's not stuck between teeth. Again, he's got quite a bit of ridge in there. And then again, a little bit of an overgrowth on this tooth. Can you see he's got this sort of yeah. deep ridge here? Now this might be, it could be that he's been um, biting onto the bit, holding onto the bit when you ride him. Yeah. And chomps, and chomps on that one a bit, yes. He looks, from his teeth, he looks like a bit chomper. And you can see from this tooth as well, there's a little slope on the front. And that's yeah. often bit wear, where they're sort of chomping on the bit. And the tooth itself is a little bit overgrown, so we can really help balance that out. And, oh, so uh, if you rasp it down, would it yeah. stop, might stop the chomping? Mm, maybe. Unfortunately, for some reason, it's, it's very difficult to understand why they chomp. become chompers, if you like. Yeah, where they chew on the bit. Um, it's always good to make sure they haven't got any oral pain or any problems. And it's always good to check the bits and check the size of the mouth and make sure that you've got a bit that's appropriate. And sometimes we refer people on to a bitting specialist just to, do, just to try out a number of different bits. But there is some research that suggests that actually, if you've got a horse that bites a little bit on the bit, sometimes there's nothing you can do. Whatever you put in, they'll do it. Oh, it depends yeah. at what point of riding they're doing. Would it, it help if you were to get like a rubber bit instead of a metal one? Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> sometimes a straight bar bit will help. Sometimes one with a little lozenge that breaks the angle across the tongue. Depends so much on the shape of their mouth anatomically. I'll have a good look now and just see if I can see any particular features that might help with bitting. But bitting's like 50% mm, well, science and 60% experience and trial and error. So there's, there's definitely some science involved with it, but it's, it's definitely not all science. Okay, would so a rubber bit like not wear down the teeth as much? It, you're right, it wouldn't wear down the teeth as much, but it can become damaged by the teeth and it can get then some sharp edges on it and that can make things worse. Yeah, those rubber ones, they can come sh become sharp, can't they? So he's got some really sharp points at the back of his mouth. I'm having a feel now. And right back against his tongue, it's really sharp. Really? Yes. I've been thinking it's a sharp one I can put in And at the top on. as well. So this, the, this is always the first port of call if you've got anything going on in the mouth. If you've got sharp areas as like, like this, and this is just the basics of dentistry. We're not going into anything super advanced. We're just going to be balancing and rasping yeah. and getting everything right. So rasped. that might help in itself Absolutely. with the chomping. You can't, you know, the starting point has got to always say this. You know, starting point is going to be a pain free mouth, and you've got great sharp chunks of tooth sticking into your tongue like that, it's going to be sore. So he's just chomping a bit there, so we just just let him relax. We're going to give him a little bit more sedation. <laughs> he's still chomping. Oh, <laughs> bless him. And then, um, then we can examine his mouth with the camera, and then you'll see exactly what I mean by these sharp points. Oh, panda. So do you know when he had his teeth done last? No, I didn't actually ask, no. We'll turn that one off. So again, you can see the same structures we were looking at before. There's the ruji of the palate. If I come forwards, there's my light that we were looking at before, with before. There's his canine teeth, or his, some people call them the tushes. Just there. They're always a little bit sharp. We don't really worry about that anymore. And then we go through the interdental space, and then we get to the cheek teeth. So here we are, and can you see the front half, of, or the front sort of quarter of this tooth is slightly discoloured from the others, or it's not as coloured. Yeah. See the brown, the brown, big brown stains of the 
dentine here, they're not present here, and that's because he's been wearing them down by chewing on the bit, and it'll be the same both sides, there we go. So that's that. Now we're just going to go further back. The cheek here is on, on the left of the screen, and I'm just looking at all these structures of the, of the mouth to make sure it's all healthy. Really close inspection, but as we get to the back of the mouth, now you'll start to see where the problem is. Oh, there's still some food stuck right back there. But these outside edges here are really sharp. Yeah, look sharp. She's got some food. And look at the height of that ridge. You see the difference in height between that one and the one behind. And that one is a massive ridge. And that will, that, that's, not, that's not ideal. I mean, that, we definitely want to reduce that. You can see even on the inside, they're really sharp. And that's just really basic. But unfortunately, when you get further back in the mouth, it gets a little bit more challenging to do the routine rasping. And so do you reckon he's ever had his teeth done? He, I think he has had his teeth done, but I think that maybe they didn't quite reach the back area here and get these. Um, and they certainly haven't done the balancing of the occlusal surface like we would do. And this is what we noticed when we first looked in the mouth. We could see very prominent ridging. We call these exaggerated transverse ridges. And we want to just reduce them a little bit so they're more similar to the ones at the front. But the good thing he doesn't have um, any ulceration. Now we're looking down at the bottom teeth. Again, you can see that these front ones have worn down a little bit from the bit. And again, that one, that's the one that's a little bit high. You can see how it's like a big dome shape. So we're going to reduce that down a little bit to balance it. And then as we go further back, again, we check out all these structures. But again, as we get to the back, we start to get the sharp points there. Look at that real Gosh, jagged, wow. jagged spike there, just ready to stick into his tongue if he gets his tongue in the wrong position. And I'll rinse this out a little bit more, but you can see, oh, there's a nasty ulcer. Let's just rinse that so you can see He's got an ulcer, is he? He's got a nasty ulcer in his tongue. And that's because of the... Just simply because of the sharp point of the teeth, yeah. Bless him. So there, look at that. So there's the sharp point, you can see that. As we move the tongue out of the way and he doesn't want me to look at it can you see he's just saying get off get off because that is painful for him and you can see oh that's my been gosh sticking into that sharp point there oh and he's gosh. probably got exactly the same and he knows it's there because he doesn't want me to examine his mouth when i get to the back so he's making it a little bit difficult for me because he knows i've reached the painful area he's also got a few little gaps between the teeth that we call diastema and that's where there's some food getting packed and again it's all due to just lack of good regular routine dental care if he had his teeth done properly every six months he wouldn't have that and that's why it's just so important because you you didn't know about that and you've been riding him presumably and expecting yeah. him to perform well and i didn't even see that when i looked in the mouth first of all I didn't even see that ulcer. You need the camera, don't you? So that's where the camera is so useful because even, I don't know if you can see back there, but even back there it's hidden. It is, isn't it? By the sort of size yeah. and the shape of his tongue. And I can see now that he's got some pretty nasty gaps back there with food packing in there. And that would also be very painful. So we've got a nice fine diamond. Doesn't do any damage to soft tissues but it does a very nice gentle rasp of the teeth to reduce those overgrowths. Okay, so here we go.
Nice. Okay, great. Shall so. I grab you his bit so you can have a look at it? Yes, definitely. Let's have a look at this. Let's get that. Doors, the back door and the side door. So actually, if you come around and take him at the front here. Yep. And then give his head to me. There we go. There we go. Come on then. He's like, I'm fine, just staying here. He's sleepy. Sleepy head. And he will be able to walk out. No problem. I'm going to go and look at his feet. Come on then. Look at his back ones. <laughs> oh, bless him. Come on. Oh, I'm going to take his cane out. I'll take his cane out. We'll probably go and have a wee now. Oh really? Yeah, the sedation always makes them want to have a wee. Great. Very mild diuretic. So if you just hang on to him there, and then you might you might perform. So we have a little nose at the CT scanner. Oh wow! Oh my go. god! So, if you go and stand on that platform there. Oh, it's freezing in here. Yeah, we have to have it temperature controlled for the unit. So, of course, place its head, places its head on here, resting, and then gets well sedated. And then you hold on, hold on tight. And then we can move the platform oh, wow. up or down, depending on where, how big the horse is. So if it's a very big horse, obviously it'll go down. If it's a little tiny pony, then we come up. And there's only five of these in the country, Harlow. Yeah. Yeah. No just way. That level. And then when the horse has got his head resting and when we're happy with the positioning, so we can switch on these lights and you can see where the laser guided where the center is. And then once we've got everything positioned, then we will scan the horse so we it kind of the whole thing moves like oh this. My God. And that goes over the horse's through the horse's head. And then back again. Dare we ask, how much would one of these cost? Uh, so this is an ex-hospital unit, so we, we managed to get it a bit cheaper. Brand new? So brand new, about a million. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a clinic that I know in, um, in Germany, they're just, oh, that, yeah, in Germany, just going to install one. Um, and theirs is, they're looking at 1.2 million for their installation. Wow. Ours does not cost that much. No. But this is one of these, this is like low hours, you know, one careful owner, that kind of thing. <laughs> and got a good deal. Yeah, we got a really good deal. So this is a horse we scanned earlier today that had some holes in its teeth, but I didn't like what I saw when I examined its mouth. So we decided to do a CT and we just have to arrange everything in the right orientation and then we can literally th see through the whole skull and through all of the teeth. And in this case, these are the nasal passages here. And as we scroll back, now we can see this is all filled with pus. This horse has a sinus infection. It's got big cavities in its teeth. Oh my gosh. And this one actually is the one that's diseased here. So we're gonna take this tooth out tomorrow. The other thing we can do, which can help in some cases, is we can do a three-dimensional rendering of the head. And we can literally change oh the exposure gosh. to look at what we want to look at. And then we can rotate that around. Oh my goodness. So we can see really lovely detail of the head. And then we've got it in the right orientation. This panda's all done. It's feeling a bit sleepy, aren't you? Coming. Good boy. Hello. You got your nail appointment in about half an hour. Look at this mane, it's got shavings everywhere. Oh, the dust. Oh, ah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can tell you you've been rolling. You got, well this is sign one, this is sign two, and um, the messy bed is sign three. 
Yeah. I'm giving everyone kisses. Oh, these kisses are getting a bit too much. So we're just on the way back from the farrier now. We've been to the gallops and the treadmill, we've been to the dentist, we've been to the farrier, and now we're going home. Um, I think the ponies are wondering, well, where are we going now? Because it, I don't think it's home. Um, we've done the rounds today, haven't we? We have. It has been a proper horsey healthcare today, guys. They've had the works, I mean, and they've cost a fortune today. This this day has cost quite a lot of money. Panda's teeth were four hundred and fifty pounds. That's how much it was, Harlow. Oh my god! It wasn't meant to be that much, but he did um, like filled in some gaps, like where the food kept going, and then it was like rotting. Yeah, he got like all the. You know, old piece of, of food and sorted all that out, didn't he? Yeah, he gave his mouth a bit of a detox. And yeah, then he filed down some sharp teeth. You'll probably probably They were like seen shark's it. teeth. They were so sharp. But the dentist said it was a really good job that we had the camera down his throat so we could really see the back of his teeth because otherwise we wouldn't have probably been able to like properly see. Yeah, and, and the them. ulcers. Poor boy. We knew something wasn't quite right, didn't we? Yeah. We thought that because he was just chomping when we were riding. He, he chomps and like. He did say he might carry on chomping. But, but hopefully. Maybe he will stop. So we're we hoping he'll stop. But it doesn't matter. But we just want him to be comfortable. That's the main thing. We don't mind the chomping, but we just didn't want him to be in pain, did we? No. I hope you've had an interesting vlog today, guys. Um, bit of a bit of a different one. I mean, we've been out of the yard for ages, so. Yeah, mummy's exhausted. Ponies are exhausted. I really hope you've enjoyed it today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye.